Peace and blessings. Welcome to another episode of Goat James Kingdom. I'm the Exposer. Today's episode, we're going to discuss why we say the 90s was watered down. A lot of people do not like this discussion, but we will prove what we're talking about. Now, when we say the NBA was watered down in the 90s, we don't mean there were no great players. So a lot of you go quick to naming all the great players that existed in the 90s, which we know there were a lot of great players in the 90s. But when we mean watered down, we are talking about the expansion era. And the expansion era is what made the NBA watered down. Because now you have to add teams with players that are not available or would be available prior to them adding those teams. And if you don't believe what I'm talking about, let me show you. Here are some legends who have something to say about this. But what about the overall quality of the NBA in the mid-90s? How do you think it stacks up to a decade or so ago? Well, I think the, the expansion teams has really hurt the league. I think it's depleted some of the talent in our league. But Now that was Bird telling you guys that the expansion era kind of watered down the NBA and the talent in the NBA and spread out the talent thin. But let's hear what another legend has to say about it. But I don't see that basketball is necessarily crumbling when you talk about some of the problems. But before we take the break, in your book, Who's Running the Asylum, mm -hmm. you talk about a number of issues. Are there any solutions that you can rattle off? Oh, on? yeah, but you say, when I say crumbling, you mean to think there's disparity? There's eight or nine teams out there last year who played 300 ball or less. I've never seen that when I was a player. That, if that's not crumbling, I don't know what is crumbling. You know what so, yeah, there is, there is a way to have a solution. When you have new teams coming to the league, give them a chance to have better people on their team. They have a grab bag situation, which uh, they throw in uh, the three or four worst guys from each team into a grab bag, and they, one guy is picked to be on each of the teams, the new, the new teams. Well, how about, you know, only being able to hold five guys back on each team and give something good? In, the, in that grab bag so the new teams can start off with some good players. And that's one way to solve some of the problems of non-parity. So we will show with an experiment what Will Chamberlain was talking about when he was talking about adding players to the new teams that were added to the league in the 90s. This glass will represent the NBA as it was with 23 teams before the 1988 NBA draft. Pure, water, clear, all the NBA professionals all represented here. These two glasses, empty glasses, will represent the two expansion teams that were brought in in 88, 89, and 1995. This will represent the water downing of the league as adding players to the league that were not originally NBA roster talent players. So Wilt Chamberlain mentioned allowing the expansion teams to get better players because the league only allowed two players per team to be put into the expansion draft. There was a 23-pick expansion draft in 88 and in 89, which allowed these NBA teams to add players on their rosters. So let's go ahead and do that. Now the league has given players to the expansion team off of the 23-team roster, right? But now they have to replenish the league with players because now both of these teams and including the NBA teams are now don't have a full roster. So now the NBA has full rosters for all 25 teams after the 1988 draft. We'll put the two expansion teams back into the NBA. Now this is the new NBA as of 1989 before the draft of the two new expansion teams. Now we have to do the same process again for the two new expansion teams in 1989. Now the league has finished another expansion draft of 1989 and we'll put the teams back and now we have the NBA with 27 teams after two expansion drafts. As you can see, the league has changed as far as talent. Six years later, the NBA decides to add two more teams to the NBA, and we do the same process again with the same type of expansion draft. So now, the NBA has 29 teams. After three expansion drafts in eight seasons. And this is what you have in the NBA now. You have more teams, more players, but players that are not actually true NBA players as of the 1988 season when they only had 23 teams. So the NBA started changing rules and started allowing high school players in, recruiting international players to help fill NBA rosters, which were unproven talent 
involved in the NBA. So that's how the league was watered down. As you can see, this is diluted from what the NBA was when it was pure in 1988 with 23 teams and all of its players. Now I know you guys, and I know you guys very well. You're still gonna argue with us. But here is another legend explaining to you exactly what we're mentioning about adding players to the league that were unproven, like going to get international players and high school players. Consider when you talk about this Bulls team, is that all year long, they've been giving the fans of the basketball world a glimpse of the future, what the NBA is gonna be like in the, in the 21st century. It's gonna be an international league. And they have two of the three best American players on their team. They have the best player ever playing from Croatia. They have the best player ever from the country of Australia. So we're getting a sneak preview of what it's gonna be like in the 21st century. So again, the 90s was watered down because the NBA added players to the league that were unproven. They needed to find players anywhere. That didn't exist in any other expansion era. There were enough players in the 60s to grab when they were doing an expansion in the 60s. There was enough players in the 70s to add to the league when they were expanding the league and merging the league with the ABA. There wasn't enough when they did it in the 90s because all professional basketball players were basically playing in the NBA. And if you wasn't good enough to make a roster in 88, the only reason you was able to make a roster in 89 was because they added some teams. And that is the difference. But y'all gonna argue anyways, and we still gonna prove y'all wrong. This is GOAT James Kingdom. I'm the Exposer. <laughs>